if a woman delivers a male child, the quality of the milk that she produces is in a certain way. If she delivers a female child, the quality of the milk is totally different. If she delivers twins, one male and one female, one breast will ooze certain type of milk, another breast will ooze another kind of milk. This is the level of intelligence. Right now we are talking about how to completely eliminate the virus, do this, do that. I don't think so we should eliminate the virus because what benefits it has within itself we are yet to realize. The context of various social issues and crime, the onus of dressing right and being right is always on the girl, especially when events… Because she is getting the attention. She has to dress well because uh, she has to be pleasant to our eyes because we are looking at her <laughs> You must have the sense where, for whom, how you dress. Do you want your biology on the front end on the street? No. So the question is what kind of attention do you want to get? That was Jaggi Vasudev, or Sadhguru as he calls himself. And those are just three of countless examples of him peddling pseudoscience and polluting the minds of millions of his followers with toxic and dangerous ideas. Given the sheer volume and reach of his work, he's arguably the most influential spreader of misinformation today. And so he earns the title of this dedicated series in which his infractions will be called out one at a time. This is Master of Deception on Vulture Watch. To kick off the series, we focus today on Juggie's claims around the Rudraksha. Shiva sat in a meditative state for a very long time. Tears of ecstasy dribbled out of his eye. These teardrops fell on the planet and became Rudraksh. These are Shiva's teardrops. One thing is it has a unique reverberation. Another thing is it will be consecrated here, so it will become an instrument of grace. That might be the legend, but in reality it's just the seed of this stone fruit. Not as arousing as tears of ecstasy, but that's what a Rudraksha is. It's similar to the seed from a peach we throw in the garbage after eating the flesh. Oh, and there's no evidence to suggest any reverberation either. On Amazon, you can buy this Rudraksha necklace for as little as $9. A similar one on Juggies Isha Life will set you back $100, and this one will cost you over $500. Why so expensive? Because they're specially consecrated by Juggy himself. Plus he claims they'll bring you supernatural benefits. Now, why Rudraksha is worn on the body is, one thing is it cleanses the aura. You know what's aura? There's a certain field of light and energy around every body from a pitch black aura to a pure white aura. If they saw any saint or sage always there will be a white halo around there. The artist is trying to impress upon you that this is a pure being. If you meet somebody who is into occult processes, totally pitch black aura, this can purify your aura. When you're aspiring to purify yourself, every little aid you get you want to make use of it. Aura is a completely pseudoscientific concept astrologers and other frauds use to exploit people. Juggy is literally creating a problem that doesn't exist so he can sell you a solution that isn't needed. It's the same nonsense Healy uses to sell their magic box. But Juggy also tries a more scientific explanation. Today, there is something called as… Uh, what the forensic people are using this. What? Thermal imaging. You see, if you sit here now, twenty-four hours later, somebody will come with a machine and find out where Gayatri was sitting. There is a memory in the place which they are able to detect this person was sitting only here, not there. If you bring your dog, it knows she was sitting here. So something is left there, isn't it so? That is why a dog or a machine or something can detect it. You are sleeping in the same bed every day, here certain aspect of your energy is left here, here you are very comfortable. If you go to another place where the energies are very different, your body may not settle, sometimes it could be damaging to the system. So person who is constantly traveling wears a Rudraksh so that he has a cocoon of his own energy that the outside energies does not disturb him. Wherever you go, you have your private bedroom going with you. Wow, where to begin? Thermal imaging does not pick up memories or this mysterious energy he's talking about, it detects heat signatures. A seat recently occupied by someone will have a slightly higher surface temperature and that shows up in the image. And dogs mostly use their sense of smell, they can't detect magical energy either. And he offers zero evidence for this extraordinary claim that it creates a cocoon of energy. It sounds like a pathetic pitch for a comic superhero whose only superpower is that his bedroom follows him wherever he goes. 
Juggy is desperately leveraging this universal experience we've all had of struggling to sleep in a new setting. Sadly, this desperation only gets worse. Especially in travel, your aura gets frayed. Somebody is driving, you just sit. After ten hours, you find you're so tired. You did nothing. Your body is moving at a faster speed than it is designed to. If you go faster, 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 you will see your skin will peel off, isn't it? After that, your flesh will fly off. After that, your bones will fly off. The first thing that begins to be damaged is your aura. So if you wear rudraks, it gives you a certain cocoon. It gives you a certain stability to your aura. And he's back to aura again. You get tired in a car mostly because of the acceleration, braking, swerving, the bumps, and your muscles constantly reacting to resist these forces. It's got nothing to do with your aura. This has just been a terrible sales speech so far. But not to worry because Juggy is about to dial the fear factor right up. You know people use negative energies to affect other people's lives. Billy Shunyam, the black magic or whatever you call it, there are various kinds of arts. If you wear Rudraks, it also protects you against that kind of negative situations. Right now, let's say somebody is doing some black magic to me, but I am not receptive to it. You are sitting here, you may get it. If you are susceptible at a certain moment, you will get it. Don't describe this, I don't want to create fear in your mind. Really? So he told them their aura needs cleaning or they'll end up in the pitch black occult side, how their system can be damaged in a new setting. He put images in their heads of their skin, flesh and bones disintegrating and how black magic may get them, but apparently he didn't want to create fear in their minds. Wow! What usually follows fear mongering is a list of unverified benefits and Juggy doesn't disappoint. It brings down the blood pressure in your system, your nerves will be calm. Today doctors are prescribing Rudraksh in India for hypertension, cardiac ailments. Doctors are actually prescribing Rudraksh, this is just where this… your blood pressure will go down because it has a certain reverberation which calms the whole system. How to put this nicely? If any doctor ever prescribes you to wear discarded seeds around your neck to treat hypertension, please ask them to shove it up their and find yourself another doctor. Validation of bullshit like this spreads like wildfire and before you know it, you have morons all over the internet pushing dangerous misinformation like this. Rudraksh beads are thought to have electromagnetic properties and this is found to control the heartbeat, maintain blood circulation, stabilize the negative energy source and improve our nervous system, protects against the fluctuating emotions, eliminates anxiety and depression, there is no doubt that every Rudraksh bead has got these positive, unique properties. Amazing properties which our ancestors found this 5,000 years ago. Just amazing what Hinduism is all about. And that's how these dangerous ideas propagate. You watch one video about the Rudraksha and YouTube's algorithm will recommend crap like this. And within a few videos, many will start to trust these junk claims. Before we get back to Juggy though, there's just one other thing to call out from this video. And uh, women are meant to take off the Rudraksh Mala when they have their periods of menstruation cycle. And it's not to be worn during sex. Because they're so sacred, you really do have to revere them and treat them as though they are a representation of your inner self and your divinity within you. Yeah, how dare women tarnish the divinity of these seeds with their periods. It just seems to me that these charlatans rarely miss an opportunity to oppress women. But I'm glad to report that not everyone within the belief system condones this systemic misogyny. The question is from Savita, can a woman wear a Rudraksh mala beads all even during her menstruation? I have heard one should not do puja and keep ourselves away from Rudraksh and holy book. Savita, it is just a mumbo jumbo which has been spread by male chauvinistic people who wanted the women to remain under the thumb and they, they are condemned for their whole life because of their menstrual cycle. And if this menstrual cycle was not there in a woman's body, then no male would be born, grow up and become a writer and then write these scriptures and formulate these rules and regulations for the women that she cannot wear Rudraksh or do the puja or read the book. Please throw this age-old ignorance in a dustbin. Yes, thank you. Now this person does promote other unscientific concepts like karma on their channel, but this is certainly what progress looks like.
And every misogynist who dares tell women what to do needs to hear this message. Let's get back to the Rudraksha now. If you were thirsty and you're walking in a jungle, you found little water, you drink it, you could be poisoned. You could paralyze yourself or you could kill yourself. If you just hold your Rudraksha about the water, it will tell you whether to drink or not. If any food appears in front of you, if you hold it, even if there is a tiny bit of poison in it, instantly it will go anti-clockwise. Let me see, check this water. <laughs> you will never know this good water. You put a tiny drop of poison into this, immediately it will go anti-clockwise. Wow! If anyone Googles the word cringe, this should be the very first result. Claims around detecting poison are no joke, but it's just so comical that he expects his audience to fall for this. I mean, flat earthers would laugh at how stupid this is. A fellow skeptic recently purchased a Sadhguru consecrated Rudraksha necklace and tried to repeat the experiment. And this is what happened. Freshly cooked food are still in the cooker. Now it's mildly shaking because of the idea motor effect comes from my finger. Oh, Jackie boy. It is rotating in anti-clockwise direction. But my food is fresh. Why it is showing a negative pranic energy? Oh, now it is rotating in clockwise direction. Ah, positive. I think I can do anything with my fingers and make it to rotate in the direction I want to. I mean, that's what you did. Jaggi boy, you are outrightly fooling people. This is a very, very trivial thing. A school kid will look at it and figure it out. What you can do is you hang it somewhere. Don't use your fingers or something. It will just take you hang it somewhere, not using your hand. Mm. <laughs> yes, you can't help but laugh at how trivial this whole thing is. And the idiomotor effect, where a subject makes unconscious motions, is a phenomenon we've known since the 1850s. Unfortunately, 170 years later, Juggy's target market still falls for this. Yeah, notice how even before testing the second sample, a conclusion was already made that it will rotate in the opposite way. And of course, that's precisely what happens. Let's look at one last claim from Juggy. Main purpose is to make you available to grace. There will be no success in any area of life if in some way you do not become available to grace, that's for sure. So Rudraksha is just creating that possibility, enhancing it a little bit. And there's the killer blow. You want to be successful? You need grace. That means you need my Rudraksha. That is how you sell bullshit. You target something people desperately want and convince them with as many lies as it takes that they need your product to get what they want. You do that well enough, you'll earn the right to ask for over $500 for something people normally spit straight into the bin. And you inspire people to advocate your nonsense. Unfortunately, it's not just established charlatans, but also young, educated people parroting Juggy's drivel pretty much word to word. I just started wearing this Rudraksh Mahala because we were told to do so after the inner engineering class by Sadhguru. I decided to get one for myself because how Sadhguru said, something like it purifies your aura and creates a cocoon of your own energies so that the outside uh, negative energies cannot affect you. You can travel and you can sleep anywhere you want. I used to be very scared after getting the Rudraksh Mala. Now I can actually say that I can sleep anywhere. I don't know how it happened, but yeah, it's like magical. That channel has over 58,000 subscribers and that video has close to half a million views. And that's just one of easily hundreds of such channels actively spreading Juggies bullshit. Just imagine the damage all of this misinformation is doing to science literacy and young people's ability to safeguard themselves from such blatant exploitation. If you think wearing some seeds around your neck helps you in some way, that's your personal choice, which must be respected. The issue is with how it's sold with all these ridiculous claims at outrageous prices to exploit people, to then fund an outfit that spreads toxic ideas, lends itself to identity politics, consistently glorifies superstitious nonsense and deters the progress of society. So this is not just about a bunch of overpriced seeds. 
there's so much more damage being caused than most of us realize. And so calling out Juggy's transgressions will continue in another episode of Master of Deception. Thank you for watching. Vulture Watch.